Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I was originally going to show you my April empties, but I got home from school and I saw that I had a couple things in the mail. So from like different um, online shopping that I've done recently. So we have stuff from ColourPop and some stuff from Victoria's Secret, which this is only part of the order I put in, but they're like shipping it separately. So yeah, I just thought it might be kind of fun to open that on camera. It's always so exciting to get packages in the mail, even though I probably shouldn't have gotten stuff in the first place. I don't need anything, mm. but you know how it is. There's just so many cool things and you just want to have it all. It's just hard. When you're a girl, shopping is like programmed into your DNA. Well, I think for most of us it is. Let's just hop right on into it. I hope there's no like annoying background noise or anything. I do have the window open right now just to get some air circulating through the house. So I hope it's not too loud or anything. Oh, my cat is just right there. He's so cute. Dodgies, you want to say hi to the camera? You want to say hi? All right, so let's get started. Let's start with ColourPop. ColourPop. So what prompted me originally to make this order was that I had heard some really, really, really good reviews about their liners. What are they called though? Oh, cute! Oh, look at the box. It's so cute! And just a fair warning, I did order stuff with my mom too. So this is it's a lot of stuff, but like half of it's going to her so I just have to ship it now to her house we just did it together for like shipping purposes and stuff but um yeah so let's get oh, I can't even remember everything I got oh my gosh okay so this is everything huh. it looks like so much stuff oh it is that's why oh yeah so it was the cream gel liner that I had heard really good reviews about, so I just wanted to try it because I think this spring slash summer, the whole like pop of color with your liner thing is really in, um, and I do like doing that. I, I get in a rut sometimes with just like my black winged liner, you know. I think a lot of us do, so it's nice to have different colors and stuff to try out, and it's not like you have to commit to having a super wild look. You can just have a little pop of color, and it just adds a little something to your look, you know. So let's see, first thing is this cream gel liner in Crybaby. Have you guys seen that movie? It's a great movie. Totally weird, but it's great. So it's just this um, lavender, super light, lilac-y lavender color. I get now why people say they're really good. So that's Crybaby. I thought that'd be really pretty like underneath, even in the waterline if you want to do something like that, that'd be cool. So crybaby, and then we have get paid. I think this was the rose gold one. Wow, oh my gosh. Dude, that's so pretty. Look at that. Wow. It's like a rose gold copper. Oh, I die, that's so pretty. That is so pretty. Oh. Do you ever love something so much or it's so, like when it comes to makeup, it's so pretty that you just like get angry about it? Getting really angry because I love this so much. I'm so excited to use it. Oh my gosh. Next we have Overboard. It's like a bronzy brown. These metallic ones are so freaking smooth. There's Overboard. So pretty. That's gonna look really nice with blue eyes too. I mean, you could wear it regardless of your eye color, but I'm just saying. This is like Christmas, guys. This is so fun for me. And ColourPop, it's so cool, because all of these, they're five bucks each. So it's like, psh, why not get 10 of them? Just kidding, maybe. This is, what did I say, no shame. This is a really dark purple. Ooh, yeah, it's like almost black. Okay. I wish it was a bit more purple, but maybe on the eye, if you only do like one swipe, it won't be quite as dark, but that's still really nice. 
it's just like a really really dark plummy purple so next we have prance oh yes i'm so excited this is a really light like periwinkle blue oh. so nice so nice look at that it's so opaque and creamy oh it's so beautiful i'm so excited I'm gonna be so trendy this summer. So trend. Next, DTLA, which I'm assuming is that downtown LA? Am I making that up? I don't know. A very dark blue, like a navy blue. Oh, the tip just came off. It like crumbled off. Ooh, that's bad. That sucks. Try that again. Maybe I was too rough on it. These are very creamy, so that I guess that could happen. So this is a very dark navy blue, almost black. Nice, more of a neutral color, but you still have a color in there. Next, I got uh, the lippy stick in Lumiere, which is Kathleen Light's color. I have her Aquarius lippy stick, and it's amazing. So I wanted to try this one. I just always thought it might be like too pink because I go for more like very taupey um, nudes, but we shall see. <gasps> oh, that's really nice, guys. Look, it's like, it's like a mauve, a mauve nude. Very, very pretty. I love it. I'm kind of sad it took me so long to try it out. And this is matte finish. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh my god. Next we have this is mom's. So I'm not gonna swatch them because they are hers and I don't wanna get my fingers all over them. Even though it's my mom and I know she wouldn't care, but she got a brow pencil in Dope Taupe. She got a lippy stick in Brink, which is one I already have and I really like it. Um, she got a lippy pencil in Polite Society and a cream gel liner and overboard. I got three more lipsticks. Oh my gosh. Oh. So I got grunge, which we'll see. Let's see. Let's see. I like to think I'm so grungy, but I'm not. Ooh. Ooh. So that's grunge right there. A very, very pretty taupe with like a terracotta undertone very nice i'm very excited about that very excited about that next we have lippy pencil oh. oh this is my mom's a lippy pencil and bound and then i got a lippy stick in tootsie which is a matte finish and it guys i'm so boring and neutral Oh my gosh, guys, I love all of these. So that's Tootsie. It's a much more of a gray, grayish, I think they call it, the gray beige kind of, but with definitely a mauve undertone in there. Matte, again, they're all matte. But their mattes are really nice. They're still really smooth, really creamy. They're not like the most long wearing, but I personally I like not having to worry about how it fades. Does that make sense? It just gradually, <laughs> Excuse me. It just gradually goes away and wears off and then you reapply it and very easy to reapply. You could put on layer after layer and it wouldn't really get like cakey, you know? Does that make sense? So I really like their formula of their um, lippy sticks. I'm so excited! Yes! Yes! Next I got... Did we get the same ones? It doesn't say the color on the box. Silliness. Yeah, so my mom and I got the same one. She had picked this one out and I was like, hmm, that looks really nice. And so I added it to mine. <laughs> this is um, in a maze. It's a super shock shadow. If I remember correctly, the description for this one online was that it's like a rose gold. Yes, and that's exactly what it is. I love colors like this. Oh, that's coming up pretty faint, but it's like a rose gold with glitter in it like shimmer 
The only thing about their, their Super Shock shadows, I need to find like the best way to do it. I think probably the best way is with your fingers and that's what I do. But I just like how you can be more precise like with a brush, you know? Alright guys, so that is it for ColourPop. I'm very excited about everything I got. It's all a home run, pretty much. Look at all that. Oh my gosh! Who needs that? Psh, not me. I love ColourPop. If you've never gotten anything from them, I definitely recommend it. They're very cheap. Sorry, people don't like to use that word on YouTube. It's very inexpensive and the quality is awesome and they have so many like trendy shades. They have all different finishes. Just very nice. Victoria's Secret. So like I said, I this is um I have two shipments coming in, so I don't know what's in this one. So I will be just as surprised as you guys. This bra. Oh, there's no... I did not know that. Okay. So first thing I see is this bra. It's so mermaid-tastic. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love it. There's no closure in the back, which I didn't know that when I ordered it. Um, but that's okay. You still get to order it like in your actual... Uh, bra size so it's not like small medium large like it's your actual size so yeah I I don't like there's no practical purpose for this I mean who needs a mermaid bra oh so, <laughs> even if I just wear this around the house I'm really excited it's just so pretty I I saw it online and I couldn't pass it up so it's really soft the back is so soft it's just perfect for like loungewear but like super cute loungewear or under tank tops if it, even if it kind of shows a little bit I think it'll be super cute next we have this little bra I love it it's so pretty I don't have anything that's unlined like this and I'm a bit smaller chested so I normally go for things that you know like push up padding all the way to the moon and back you know you know but um, I thought this would be really nice. It's kind of sweet and romantic. And look at the little bow in the middle. It's so cute. Yeah, and I got it just in this nude color because I figured it'd match with everything. And it looks like the straps are, um, they're the type that unclip and you can like crisscross them and all that stuff. So I'm excited about that. Got a lot of bras this time. Because all of my bras are so structured that I wanted some that would be more... Not as much of a commitment, you know, to wear. <laughs> like more relaxed. Hence this one, which is the lounge bra, I think it's called. Um, but, oh my gosh, it seems so comfortable. It's like stretchy and, oh again, there's no um, clip. Okay, I didn't know that, but that's okay. And it has, it's like a T kind of back almost. This very dusty lilac grayish kind of color. And I am a 32C, in case any, if I don't know why you would need to know that, but for your own reference. <laughs> but yeah, that's that. I love it. It doesn't look like super sexy or anything, but it, I feel like it's going to be really comfortable for those days where... Because I normally, if I'm not wearing a full-on bra, I'm just wearing a sports bra. So this will be a nice, like, happy medium, you know? Next, we have some swim stuff. Because I am going, I am graduating from college in a month. And after that, it's like my dad and my brother's birthday, like two days after I graduate. Um, and I don't live at home. I live about three hours away from home because I'm going to school. So um, my parents are going to come up for graduation and then we're all going on a road trip, me and my family. So, and on this road trip, we're going to Vegas. So I figured I'm going to be spending some time like at the pool and everything. So I wanted a cute swimsuit. And I also wanted a swimsuit because I've kind of been trying to work out more. And I feel like having a swimsuit that you need to like feel good in is good motivation. Does that make sense? Does anyone do that? Is that just me? So I got these bottoms they are the it's coming out much more blue on camera but it's much more of seafoam green blue it's not it's not as blue as it's coming up but i think this is called the bow bikini and it just has little bows on either side i did get a large because i don't want my i don't want stuff you know like overflowing or i don't know and i like how much this covers the butt because i'm just not comfortable showing my butt because i haven't worked out enough for that so <laughs> 
Um, but for the girls that can get away with that, you do you. That's awesome. Next, I got a top, a swim top. Oh, this might be the bottoms though. Yes, this is actually the bottom. So the top is it's on back order, but it's the same material uh, or the same pattern as this. Um, this is just another little bikini. It has rouging down the butt, so that's, I think, normally pretty uh, flattering. So we'll see if those fit. They, they look a little big, but a lot of times it's good to err on the side of things being bigger as far as bikini bottoms for me than it being too tight. And, and they have the ties, so we should be good. Next is one of the things I was most excited about, mainly because it was one of the most expensive things, which I don't know why I tell myself it's okay. It was one of those things where it's like, spend a certain amount of money, get a certain amount of money off, so I was like, okay. We'll see how this one works. I really hope it works, because it looked really cute online. It's a little, um, Swim cover up. Okay, I see, I see, I see. And it is, it's a dress, right? Oh, good, yes. <laughs> it's a little dress and it's a, this is hard to show. Sorry, I'm not skilled enough yet to do try on hauls. <laughs> Maybe someday. But it's a little halter, so it would go like this. And then it's just, it's like a seafoam green. Again, it's coming up a bit more blue on camera. But it's pretty thin and it has the little, um, not rouging. What is, I don't remember what this is called. It cinches at the waist, and then it, uh, it basically doesn't, it's backless. So this is like where your waist is. This looks really short. And mind you, I'm six feet tall, so I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I'll, I'll have to try it on. I mean, it's fine if it's shorter because it is a swim cover up, but I don't want my whole butt to be hanging out. And then it's just, yeah, a little flowy little dress. And it has these cute little tassels on it. Um, yeah, so we shall see. Paid entirely too much money for this, but, you know, we'll see if it works. Because I figured if it does work, it's one of those things that it's a swim cover-up, I could use it a lot, because typically, I don't think, a lot of people have that many swim cover-ups, they kind of just use the same one over and over and over. So, we'll try this on and see. And then finally, we spent enough money, they were giving away umbrellas so I got a Victoria's Secret umbrella oh how cute it comes like in a little bag and then it's just I'm not gonna open it up because that's silly but it just says Victoria's Secret and it has the stripes on it and it's bright green that's cute I like that that was exhilarating guys I hope you had fun I had a lot of fun doing that um, oh, by the way, my dress is from Target, and my necklaces, this one is Stella and Dot, because it's like the engraved kind, and then um, this is Forever 21, it drops down lower. Alright, and then these are the shoes I was wearing today, super cute, they are Target, and they're the A, what's the brand called? It's that A, and then the plus sign? I don't remember what that brand is, but I really like it. I hope you enjoyed this impromptu unboxing slash haul slash financial mistake, whatever you want to call it. I'm just kidding. I'm excited about everything I got. I had a lot of fun doing this for you guys. Um, I want to hear from more of you. I want comments. What's some stuff that you guys have gotten? Have you gotten any anything from ColourPop recently that you really liked or any online shopping, clothing hauls? swimsuits, anything that you guys have gotten recently that you really liked or some maybe some cool new websites for me to try out. Just let me know. Leave it down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you did like it. Thanks again for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.